Hi, this is Marcel of Marcel on Tech, and I'm very excited to be today talking to you. Now, having achieved a thousand subscribers, massive thank you. This is the first video after that event, so I'm really, really excited about it. But also, wanted to talk to you about a phone that I have been really impressed by, and that is this bad boy. This is the Honor Magic 6 Pro. Now, first of all, to take a look at that. That is a good looking device, but let's take a much closer look. Let's talk about why you should consider it and why I think this is a hugely underdog device based on the price that they're asking for it. Okay, let's get into it. Right, so this is my first impressions video of the Honor 6 Pro. Now, Honor Magic 6 Pro. First and foremost, let's look around the design as always. Now I've gone for the emerald green with gold accents around the periphery. Now I have to say the combo is awesome. It looks something, it looks quite oriental in my mind. And the back really is very unique. It's this kind of textured, but plastic, but textured back. With the branding of the Honor in gold, it actually looks really, really classy, I have to say. And I do love the, uh, the bezels and the side being in gold as well. I think they've done an extremely good job with both the design and the build quality. As we look around it from the sides, we've got the volume rocker and the power button on the right hand side. They're easily reachable, they're in the right place. The power button is below the volume rockers. You learn where those are very, very quickly. It's very easy to get hold of. Then as we work round to the bottom, we've got a speaker grill, and we've obviously got the USB type C, which does allow for super fast charging. And then of course, we've got the SIM card, and we've got nothing on the right side apart from uh, an antenna line. And then at the top, we've got a speaker, which is brilliant, centrally located as well. Really good, we'll get to the sound in a moment. And then we've got an IR blaster. Now there are very few devices that have IR blasters, but this one has one and I still love it that they have it. The OnePlus had it and now Honor have it. And these are particularly common with Chinese phones and I love it. I think it's still very, very useful to have involved in a phone because it can be useful. Have I used it a lot? No, but if I needed to at a push, I totally, totally could if I wanted to. Now, coming to the reverse side of the phone, here we've got a significant camera bump. You can't miss that, but it's not obtrusive. What it is, is they've got this very subtle gradient that lifts up the edge towards the camera bump. It's not aggressive, it's not sharp, and it is a useful place to rest your finger. In fact, it is quite nice. And then they've also got this green, almost, um, pearlescent effect and that camera bump is significant but we've got some incredible lenses we've got the periscope lens the main lens and the uh, digital lens as well and it is very very good we haven't gone into the camera yet I might do a camera comparison or a camera dedicated vi video because this thing is very very powerful and it is currently the the best phone on a camera should I say <laughs> as opposed to a camera on a phone uh, in the world at the moment, according to DxO anyway. So this is rated really, really highly, and I've been really impressed with the photos. The video is not quite there, but let's not go into that just yet. We're gonna talk about that shortly. But in terms of design, I have to say it's a candy bar design, it's your regular standard design, and I really, really like it. So it's comfortable in the hand, it's not too heavy. I don't like heavy phones, I have to say. I'm much more swayed towards lighter, high-performing phones, and this one has that combination of lightness with a bit of weight, solid build, um, and of course, coming around to the final thing, which is of course this panel, which is absolutely gorgeous, amazing premium quality uh, image, really, really crispy. I mean, you just can't go wrong with those wallpapers. Um, there are many to choose from and themes, but it is very, very comfortable and very easy to use with great brightness outdoors as well, because I live in a very sunny place. Okay, so moving on to now the software. Now the software this is running as it is a flagship device, it is running Magic OS 8. So that is their latest version on Android 14. So it has all the latest uh, bits and bobs. And I have to say, I think they've done a really good job with integrating iOS 4, uh, well, iOS, Android 14 
and it looks really, really good. One of the things that I really enjoy are the adjustable folders. So being able to adjust folder size to make them larger or smaller, I have to say, is extremely helpful. And I think that's a very clever and somewhat overdue um, adjustment as well. Uh, but that's integrated with most Android 14 devices. Uh, but they've done it, they've implemented it really, really nicely here as well. It does come with a few uh, additional apps that come pre-built in like booking.com and Facebook and even uh, TikTok came pre-installed, but I'm gonna use some of those so I don't mind, but if you don't like them, you can just delete them. In terms of usability, this is running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, so it has all the AI smarts to it, but it isn't as integrated with AI as say, for example, the Samsung S24 Ultra is. Um, this one is far more um, subtle about it, but it does have certain AI smarts, like for example, AI suggestions, which is a folder at the top here that suggests the apps that it thinks you're going to need at a certain time in the day. And it learns your patterns, um, it learns your routines, and it is actually quite useful. I quite like it because it means that I don't need quite so many folders with my most regularly used apps because it will actually rotate and suggest the ones that I use anyway. So I'm actually quite pleased with that and quite impressed. In terms of usability, my goodness, this thing works like a treat. It's fast, it's quick, it's fluid. I've had no app crashes. Um, I've had no stutters or restarts. It is very, very powerful and will be just as good as obviously any other, such as Samsung uh, S24 uh, in terms of reliability. In terms of support going forward, we understand that Honor will be giving at least four years of OS updates, which is great. They're a little bit on the slow side when it comes to security updates, but so far I've got the security updates that I need. So I'm quite pleased with how this has been working out as well. Now, in terms of the speaker quality, I did want to run you through and just give you an experience of what that sounds like. So let's take a look now. Pretty good sound, right? As a media device for consumption, I love watching this. This has a great panel on it, great speakers, very, very happy with it. Now, because I bought it direct from Honor, they bundled it in. So not only did I get 200 euros off the price of this, which is 1300 euros, that's quite a lot of money, but you're getting a lot of phone. And based on the relative cost of flagship devices now, what you get for that money is well worth it, in my opinion. Now, if you can get it for cheaper, of course, if you can get it with a discount, brilliant. If you can get other things bundled in, even better. So let me run through what I got bundled in. I got this really nice color matched case with actually a built-in kickstand, have to say, really like it. I've kept that on throughout the whole time. I like that a lot. Then I got maximum 100 watts charging brick that has been very, very useful and it works really, really well and it does actually charge. I've got charging speeds of up to 60 watts. I'm not quite sure whether that might be my cable, but remember that the cable and the brick have to be compatible with those types of speeds. With my 60 watts, I can charge this up in about 45 minutes. If you're using the 100 watt with the appropriate cable, it can take about 30 minutes to charge this thing up fully. So charging is a total game changer. This was bundled in. I also got the Honor Watch 4, which was very good. I was very pleased with that. It's a little bit more of a basic or budget smartwatch, so it's okay. But to get that free is an absolute bonus. So I definitely am not complaining about that. And as if you've been following the channel already, I also bundled in the, the Pad 9, which I added in additionally. Uh, which isn't bundled in for free, but it only costs 200 euros if I then bundled it in, which is a saving of about 50% on the original price. So I just couldn't help myself. So it is a really good deal and well worth buying from them because you also get bundled in um, warranty protection and screen protection for at least 12 months. So I don't get any commissions or affiliate links or anything like that by recommending it. It's just something that is really good value for you. And that's what I like to encourage as much as possible. 
So another feature of the Honor Magic 6 Pro has been the security measures. So you've actually obviously got face unlock because you've got two cameras that are facing towards you. Um, and then of course you've got a fingerprint sensor as well. So the fingerprint sensor, I have to say, is very quick. It's a little bit low on the screen, but you get used to it after a bit of muscle memory. I quite like it a little bit higher up if I'm honest. Um, but the fingerprint sensor works every time really quick and even the face ID with the dual sensors and the dual camera is brilliant. I just turn to face it, I get the unlock symbol on the top there and I can swipe up and get straight into it. So these features are so far and beyond where they used to be a couple of years ago that now they integrate so quickly that they unlock incredibly well. And the security on this one I have to say has been very, very good. I've tested it with some photos of me or uh, trying to trick it in some way. It does have quite a good peripheral vision. So actually, you don't even have to have it facing you completely. I can be quite close to it there. I'm not directly in front of the screen and it's already unlocked uh, using my face ID. So I'm off angle maybe by about 30 degrees and it still picks up my face. So that might be a little bit of a security issue, but otherwise it's very quick, it's very fast, takes a split second, and I love it for that reason. So this is not my full review of this device. This is just my first impressions, and I've had it for about a week, and I've been loving it. Really, really enjoy the phone. I think it's an excellent design. It's good in the pocket. It's not too heavy, but not too light. Um, the camera has impressed me. I'll put some examples on the screen as well as we talk, but, it is not a full review of the cameras yet, and if you'd like that, please put a comment below, and as always, make sure you like and subscribe, and of course, if there's any, any feedback that you've got for me, I love to hear from my subscribers and my viewers as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye-bye for now.